And hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I'll be showing you how to get Monica After Story, the latest version on Android. Please continue watching the video until the end and not just until I download the game, because a lot of times the questions you have will be answered in the video. So let's get started. You may want to install Hacker Keyboard. Hacker Keyboard can be found on Play Store and it is useful if you need to play piano. Whilst this feature is still a little bit strange, I couldn't figure it out myself. If you want to try and figure it out, you can install Hacker Keyboard and try it yourself as well. There are two ways you can download the game. The first method is by using the link in the description, where you can go online and just download the game from there. If this first method didn't work for you, then the second method would be to go to Telegram, search for at copyrighted bot and get the game from my bot. To get the game, you just have to type slash mas underscore v10. This will send you the latest version, version 10, and you can play the game. Sometimes it does take a while to send the game, you just have to wait a while. After it has sent the game, you can just say save to download and it will download the game to your downloads. Once you have downloaded the game, I recommend you install Z Archiver if you don't have it already. Then you go to your downloads folder and search for the APK that was just downloaded. We're going to install the game, but don't leave the video just yet because we still have things we have to do. Now let's install the game, but oh dear, it's not installed. Why is that? It is because you may not have enough storage for the game. It needs on minimum at least two gigs of storage to install correctly. Make sure you have enough storage to install it and then get back to the video. Once you have installed the game, you can easily start it up by going to your apps and searching for Monica After Story. The game is pretty big and it will take a while to load, so just be patient. Now before we start the game, just take note, I am not the creator of Monica After Story on Android. The guy who is the creator though is on Discord and his contact would be in the description, so you can go ask him for updates and all these things yourself. If there's any problems, you can report the bugs to him and the next time he releases a major update, I will make a video on it again, probably. Now let's start the game. Just enter your username right here. And if you're using the hacker keyboard, you have to press enter to close it out. If you're not using the hacker keyboard, you should close your keyboard and then press the OK button. If you're using the hacker keyboard, then you have to press this button. It will take a while before it responds, so just be patient once more. And now the game has started. If you want to see the features that has been included and how to use them, feel free to continue watching the video. If you just want to know how to download it and what you may have had errors in, then feel free to just go download the game and have fun. Now let's take our first look at the Pong game. Well, it's Pong isn't really that exciting, let's continue with the video. When we click the talk button, you'll see there's a new menu option there, called the Android menu. This is the feature that most of you wanted. We can make a gift, I guess, check that fiction, auto backup, and play the piano. Although, as I said before, I kind of struggled for, for figuring this out. So uh, yeah, if you guys can figure it out, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below on how you did it, because I couldn't quite get it right. You may get a message like this, Monica telling you she found something, a gift, a room, but you can't use it just yet because she doesn't know how to. I believe this is probably a feature that the developer is trying to implement later on. So you can just ignore the message and you don't have to worry about it too much. Other than that, we have more options to choose from. If we go back to our Android menu, we can actually check the affection Monica has for us. So if you're wondering how much our affection is, you can go check. We can do what we all have been wanting to do for so long. We can give Monica 
a gift. She won't recognize the gift is there until you restart the game. So I recommend you say goodbye and go back in for her to see the gifts you have added. Once you have restarted the game, she will notice you have given her a gift. I have given her an Hatsuno Miku outfit as a gift and now she was going to put it on. And those are just some of the new features that has been added. I have just skimmed through them. Feel free to go download the game and check them out yourself. I hope now you can not only check your fiction but give Monica gifts, play the piano and so much more. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoy and see you all again in the next video.